Yeah, I clearly believe this is about uh, protection for Gazprom. So they want to pr be protected against further claims in form of litigation or any legal claims that uh, customers like Unipa will uh, make afterwards. So now they, in retrospective, uh, try to protect themselves for deliveries, the, short, the shortening of deliveries in the past weeks. Andres, how unprecedented is this, given we've got a geopolitical situation playing out and now you've got corporate wrangling uh, about legalities here as to who could be uh, on the hook down the track when it comes to this product not being delivered, whether it's a Uniper effectively suing uh, this company, uh, Gazprom, uh, when we finally get past the geopolitics? Yeah, so this is clearly uncharted territory and unprecedented in this form. So we did have force majeure, but only for very short periods, like one day or half of a day or so, but not for this extended period. So here, Gazprom is claiming force majeure for an extended period of several weeks already. So since mid, mid of June, this is more than a month. Andreas, um, it's nonsense of the Russians to say that it's all about this gas turbine that hasn't come back from repair in time, isn't it? Bear in mind, this is a replacement part, I understand from the Reuters copy, that isn't due to be put into commission until September. Yeah, so this is not fully clear, really, since this is a replacement turbine and not a primary turbine. So it's not clear uh, on, on which grounds uh, Gazprom is really claiming this would uh, hinder them from uh, flowing gas on the Nord Stream pipeline. So it's a bit unclear and they leave their customers uh, um, uh, in, in this intransparent form. So uh, we cannot really tell. It's, it's on Gazprom's uh, side to tell us. And Andreas, um, again, quoting the same copy which quotes the Russian finance ministry, uh, despite protestations of a reduction in Russian hydrocarbons, it seems the Russian exchequer is making far more money in the first half of this year uh, than it has done in previous years um, from hydrocarbons sold to Europe as well. well. Compare for us and our viewers what has been promised by the EU and Germany and others compared to what actually is happening in terms of reduction on Russian hydrocarbon usage and, and necessity? Yeah, whilst the European Union managed in reducing the volumes of imports from hydrocarbons uh, in Russia, they didn't manage to reduce the price that they pay for Russia because uh, the volumes have been reduced, but the prices have come up uh, to compensate for this reduced volume. And this is a yeah, offsetting effect, unfortunately. So somehow you could say the, 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 yeah, the sanction regime is a bit ineffective in that way. So this would be calling for a complete um, reduction and uh, zero imports from Russia.